If you're a fan, I only need to say, Beyonce is next. If you're not, you don't know what you're missing. A prime example of bootylicious, for a start. That's how the diva describes herself. Beautiful, bountiful, bounceable. And now you can add another B, bankable. For the uninitiated, here's why. At 15, she formed Destiny's Child. They sold 50 million CDs and won a swag of Grammys. Then she went solo, and so far has sold another 15 million albums. Next stop, Hollywood, where her first three movies grossed half a billion dollars. And that was before she became a dream girl. All that, and she's still only 25. Spending a day in the frantic life of Beyonce Knowles is nothing short of exhausting. Hey, how you doing? We're in New York, and it's back-to-back -back TV shows and appearances, dashing between studios. After one show, she's ushered on to the next. This is what it's like behind the scenes when you're one of the biggest, most bankable stars in the entertainment world. When the entourage let me in on the whirlwind, I found a tired young woman who's not at all what I expected. It never stops, does it? It doesn't stop. It actually stops today. I go on yeah. vacation tomorrow. <laughs> the Beyonce I met is a study in contrasts. Up close, she's very polite, well-mannered, even a little shy. But put her in front of a camera, and wow. The erotic, uninhibited showgirl is unleashed. When I'm on the stage, I, I perform and, and I, I do whatever I feel on the stage and I leave that on the stage. Do you have some sort of alter ego when you're up on stage? Absolutely. I named her Sasha. Actually, my cousin named her Sasha. Sasha? Yes. Um, Sasha Knowles or just Sasha? I guess she's just Sasha. And she, <laughs> she's a one-namer. <laughs> So when we're watching that new video, for example, mm -hmm. when we're seeing the leather clad mm -hmm. <laughs> sex machine, that's Sasha. Yeah, basically. C can we interview Sasha? <laughs> no, she's never done an interview. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if she ever will, because I don't really think I would like her interview. <laughs> I'd love to talk to her. Yeah, no, 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 you wouldn't. <laughs> It's Sasha who gets all the fun. But behind the naughty girl, there's Beyonce doing the grinding hard work, songwriting, recording, and performing. Now she's headed to another appearance, this time on MTV, broadcast to millions of kids around the world. Are you conscious of being a role model? I am. Um, you know, when I was growing up, I loved Prince and you know, Vanity Six and everyone, a lot of different artists. And my mom, you know, let me listen to their music, but told me, you're a kid, they're adults. I'm your mother, you listen to me. And she was responsible for me. And I feel the same way now, now that I'm a celebrity, you know, I am aware and I am honored that I'm a role model, but I'm not responsible for, you know, I'm, I'm not the babysitter, I'm not the parent. I don't raise children, I feel like your parents should do that. Everyone needs their own mum to read them the right act. Absolutely. <laughs> Beyonce Knowles grew up in Houston, Texas, in a close, church-going, middle-class family. Beyonce. There were talent shows and a string of different girl groups before a trio called Destiny's Child struck a chord. The group's destiny was eight number one hits. They sold 50 million albums, one of the most successful female groups of all time. What is that something special that makes someone a star? I think it's something that you're born with and I think it's something that, you know, people are intrigued by you and it's something that you don't have to try to be, it's just something that you are. It's a presence, is it? Absolutely. Usually when I see other artists, I can tell, even with younger artists, a new artist, immediately, 
if they're gonna be a star. And um, they, they've either got it or they haven't. They either have it or they don't. I mean, you can fake it for so long, but you can't have a long career faking it. Eventually, people are gonna see past the facade. Yeah, 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 yeah. Beyonce gives much of the credit for her success to her parents. Her mother, Tina, a hairdresser, became the stylist for Destiny's Child. Her dad, Matthew, gave up his day job to become her manager. Beyonce was just 15, a schoolgirl by day and a pop star by night. When I was in middle school, I told no, I didn't tell anyone that I, that I sang. I didn't tell anyone I had a record deal. I went to school, I was quiet. I did my job, you know, my grades. And then at night, I went to the studio and I would stay there all night. And it was like I had two different lives. I was shy and I didn't want people to ask me to sing at school and I didn't, you know, and I've been that way all my life. I'm fortunate to, st to start at 15 years old. Now I'm 25, and you know, if I really wanted to, I could still be a young woman and do something completely different and have a whole new career and still have, hopefully, a, a, my whole life ahead of me. But you could say the same thing about someone like Britney Spears. Absolutely. There's only a three months age difference between you and Britney. Absolutely. And look at the difference. Complete disaster. Well, I mean, people handle different things differently, and thank God I've been, you know, surrounded by honesty, and thank God I've chosen to, to still be around people that I trust. And it's really difficult when you're a celebrity to know the difference. As a solo artist, with that sultry voice and those almond eyes, it wasn't long before Hollywood called. I don't believe we've met. It's me, Foxy. Foxy Cleopatra. First, the role of Foxy Cleopatra with Austin Powers in Gold Thanks, Member. Foxy. Austin, good luck. And then alongside Steve Martin in Pink Panther. I was gonna make you a movie star, right? But then came the big break. Dream Girls, a film loosely based on Diana Ross and the Supremes. We got a lot of work to do, we're gonna have a lot of changes. I'm Beyonce plays the Diana Ross role. She can't sing like I can. She's right, Curtis, I can't. One of the reasons I love to act, um, one of the reasons why, is because, you know, I get scared and it feels like my first time on stage all over again and it keeps my life exciting and it keeps me ambitious and hungry. Beyonce had to lose a stack of weight for the role but unlike most women she couldn't wait to put it back on. Hi. Here's a woman who says it's okay to shake your booty no matter what the size. Uh -huh. Ready? Uh -huh. I think it's unfortunate that it's so much focus on it. You know, there are some naturally thin people. My sister is, you know, nine kilos smaller than I am, and she's naturally that way. She's, she, she eats whatever she wants, and I'm very jealous because I wish I could. <laughs> but right. she's hey, naturally, hang on, hang on, she's hang on. naturally that way, and you, you, I'm naturally curvier, which I'm happy with. You you're know? not trying to tell me you're naturally fat. No, 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 no. I'm naturally how I am right now. And, and that's fine, you know. I, I don't really wake up obsessing about it. That's where Bootalicious came from, wasn't it? That Your natural is. curves? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's one of those songs that haunts me for the rest of my life. <laughs> well, now it's in the dictionary, so you can't yes, get away from it, can I you? I can't. <laughs> Success is obviously no fluke. Beyonce is now a brand on makeup, clothing, soft drinks. She's turning heads everywhere. One word. Beyonce. But the flip side to success, she says, is that a lot of people want a piece of you. And the first thing to go is your private life. Oh, uh, I've been rumored to be engaged, married, divorced, all of them. Many times, sometimes both, all three at the same time. <laughs> That's just a part of being 
a celebrity, you know. I look at one paper, I'm single. I look at the next, I'm married. It's crazy. <laughs> so what is it? Well, I'm single. I mean, I'm not married, I'll say that. Um, and I'm in no rush. I'm, I'm very happy with everything, all aspects of my life, my career, my personal life, my family. I'm very, very happy. And why wouldn't she be happy? This dream girl has already won 10 Grammys. She's the highest paid black actress in the world. And she heads a multi-million dollar business empire. On the eve of her tour of Australia, Beyonce's future is simply bootylicious. Twelve and a half million dollars for Dream Girls. <laughs> About half that for Austin Powers. Twenty-four million dollars for the soundtrack. Plus the record royalties. You're only twenty-five years old. You know, if that was true, I'm sorry, I love you, but buddy, I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I'd be somewhere on an island. <laughs> I'd be somewhere retired, <laughs> drinking on a nice glass of wine, looking at the ocean. <laughs> it's, it's, it's not true. I wish it was. How would you like me to describe you? Um... A legend in the making. A legend? Yeah. That's big. I said in the making. <laughs> <laughs>